Shami, ready, brothers, to leave. Is it done? Can you travel, wife? Yes. Find time for the Lord to give us a daughter. Just when Burgundian wolves are coming. Please, Jack. These sons work in the field. Please, she doesn't oh. cry. She doesn't cry. Look, please.
I have never seen you so reverent, dear child. Is there something you wish to confess? No. It just felt wonderful to pray. Come. I have never seen such piety at an early age. What's happening in this picture, Father Monet? This is the Battle of Agincourt. One of the darkest days in our history. Why does God make the French suffer? Come. Sit down. We suffer at the hands of man, not God. Our queen, from another land, has disowned her son and given her daughter in marriage to the English king. Our queen is the woman in the legend, the one who will destroy France. Come. This is France. We are here. This area is occupied by the English invaders. This is Burgundy. The French make packs with the English. So all this fighting is to determine who is the rightful ruler of France. How can Burgundy claim this part, and England that part, when it's all France, and we're all French? France should be whole. What's happening? There's refugees. I think they're from another village. We need food. Shelter. Soldiers have burnt everything. We have barely enough for ourselves. Move on. Please! There are the children! We have nothing to spare. Move on! Go! Have pity. What a bountiful meal. Yes. Enough for everyone with plenty to spare. Praise God there is enough. No, there's never plenty to spare. Not even one crust of bread for a hungry child? Not if the child is part of a mob. One small mercy would crack the dam, and in no time we would be flooded. They could have been us, Papa. And they would turn us away as they must. This is how it is. Your daughter is very outspoken. <laughs> She's young. She'll outgrow it. I will never outgrow simple decency. It's people like you who do nothing to stop the miseries of the world. remember six years ago when you saw me kneeling in this spot and you spoke to me? Uh, 
as if it were yesterday. You thought it was sudden piety. Wasn't. I had heard a voice as clearly as I'm speaking to you now. It was St. Catherine. And her voice was beautiful, sweet, soft. She told me she was chosen to guide and counsel me. And that I must listen to what she was telling me because it was at the command of God. I didn't tell you before because I was afraid. What have your voices said to you? At first, they just told me that I must be a good child and go often to church. But now they're more insistent tell me that I must prepare to leave, and that my destiny lies elsewhere. And what do they say is your destiny? They don't say. But they make me understand that our people have lost a sense of hope. Too willingly giving up their freedom. And that I meant to leave and... Burgundians. Father, ring the bells, ring the warning bells. Yes. They will attack by morning. Take me. Oh, oh, quickly. Jacques Right to Vaucalure. Uh -huh. Alert Sir Robert. Go, go, go. Here and search the ruins. I'm going back to the village. No, you mustn't. It's my best and only friend. on this. The Dauphin Charles needs me, and I must go to him in Chino. Go to him? How? I don't know, Father. I don't know. Yeah. 
I, uh, gather we're a bit late. Yes, Sir Robert. Just late enough to avoid any danger. Just as your village avoids paying taxes. You have not collected taxes because you have been hiding in your castle from the Burgundians. <laughs> if you had one, wouldn't you? Jean, be so kind as to take that livestock to the king in Chinon. Some looking for a camp following strumpet. Is that what you're wanting, girl? To to be the plaything of soldiers? <laughs> because she arrives in the ideal spot. <laughs> please, sire. I offer no trouble, and I wish none in return. Now, please just continue with the animals to she know. Well, these animals are going nowhere except to the butchers inside Sir Robert's castle. Sir Robert said the livestock was going to the Dauphin in Chinon. Well, if one man's pampered stomach gets more bloated than the other, what concern is it to you? Bertrand, unload the livestock. I can see by your clothing, sire, that you're a man of substance. I implore you then to understand that I must go to Chinon to see the Dauphin, because he needs me. He needs you? I have a mission that's getting clearer by the hour. You have a mission? I must help the Dauphin claim his crown and unite the people of France. <laughs> then I must take you to meet Sir Robert. You shall make your case to him. Come. Thank you, sir. Come. Sir Robert. I present to you the Maid of Lorraine. I um, <clears throat> understand that you're on your way to Chinon to crown the king and to unite the poor wretches of France. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> 
Sir Robert, someone must help the king claim his crown. And, and what makes you think, you poor simple girl, that you would succeed when the king's loftiest advisers have failed? Because I must, just as you, Sir Robert, must send me there. Sir Robert, the Dauphin holds the future of France. Why do you call him Dauphin? Crowned or not, Charles is our king by right of blood. And if this inactive mongrel is ever going to be a king, we have to start calling him king. Don't you think? I think he has to believe he is king. He has to earn it. Uh, Jean? Hmm? Send it back to a father for a sound beating. Yes, sir. Please, Sir Robert. I said go! I suggest you go home, unless you want to see the Burgundians destroy this place, too. I thought bigger towns would contain bigger minds. I was wrong. slept here all night and now you're hungry. Hmm? Hmm? Yes. You look strong enough to work. Come with me. Wait. That one couldn't stop crying for two days and nights. Maybe he just lost interest in crying. People today stopped fighting for soup. You have a gift. Mother Babette? Why have the people of Vaucouleurs given up hope? Why don't they just seek help in another village? From where, child? Every city, village, town. It's each man for himself. I have an idea. Village. Need shelter or fear attack. Uh, I can't write as fast as you can talk. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Help us build defenses against those who will destroy us. What's your name, boy? Noel, sir. Noel? Whose name is on this declaration? None, sir. To the good French people of every town and village who need shelter or fear attack. Come and be protected within the walls of Vaucalure and help us build defenses against those who would destroy us by dictate of the Maid of Lorraine. A dictate of a fairy tale. She is no fairy tale. She's flesh and blood, a maid from this very region. Sir Robert. Not since you turned that peasant girl away. She, she, she stole my hens, thief? The hens are here, but they refuse to lay. 
Not one egg from the lot of them. Oh, sorry. My chickens turned against me, huh? What the devil have they done to my city? It's the girl, sir. People have come from everywhere to defend us. They say she's the maid of Lorraine. Bring her to me. <laughs> you, 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 you look like a, you look like a man, and you look like you're dressed to go somewhere. But I'm ready to travel to Shino. And today's the day you will send me. You're cracked to think that I would send you to Shino to see the king. A few days ago, you sent me away from here. But now today, here I am again, your invited guest. And Vokula is ready to defend itself. It's nothing that couldn't have been done before. Why, why are you just standing there? I need to write. I am writing that I believe that you may be the maid of Lorraine. So Robert, please, I'm not the maid of Lorraine. Do you want to go or not? Do you want to go? Yes. I know how to tickle a regal brain. What you do when you get there is up to you. John? Sir. You were so kind as to deliver this young maid to me. Therefore, you shall deliver her to Charles. has happened because of I call your attention to the skin, very crisp, mm. and the meat, very tender. In a word, perfection. Ah, uh, yes, Bertrand. You never fail to impress yourself. I agree. I'm a marvel. I've never had food cooked by a man before. It's expected that a nobleman's squire might do a bit of everything. I hadn't met a nobleman nor a squire until now. Someone douse the fire. We don't need Burgundian troops joining our blankets. Mm. All right, the chicken was tasty. <laughs> Thank you. for Charles. Excuse me? Well, you run away from home and put yourself in danger all for a would-be king who cares nothing for you. I don't expect him to care for me. I expect him to care for the French people. His people. Yeah, I know. Nothing will change until France and Burgundy unite under one king and force the English out. And Charles is our last hope. God help us all. If you don't believe in what I'm doing, then why are you following me? <laughs> following? 
<laughs> yeah, following. I'm leading you, remember? Once you're safely in Shino, I'm going home. Not a part of your fantasy. The gateway to what's left of our country. See the smoke from the villages? Someone's burning their way there. The English. Once they've taken Orléans, they'll finally be able to cross the River Loire. France's doom will be sealed. Then we have no time to lose. I've always wanted to visit the Loire Valley. Not one of my better ideas. I think we should turn back. There's two ways to Chinon, across or around. We have to take the most direct route to Chinon. This is my convoy and my responsibility to get us to Shino, alive. We're going to camp here for the night, and then in the morning we'll take the route around. Sorry. She's going to get us killed. not the work of the Burgundians. It's the Black Knights. Filthy English. The Church of St. Catherine. St. Catherine is my patron saint. She speaks to me. Who are you? Nobody. A bit modest, don't you think? No. I only agreed to this because I felt I owed it to you. But now, this, this, St. Catherine's sword? Where's all this going? I don't know. I'm just taking it as it comes. Well, it's an hour before daybreak. I think, I think we, we should, should go. go.
made in the rain? No. Save us! Save us! Save us, please! Lord England was cold, but your precious Burgundy can chill the bone as deep as the foulest winds of Scotland. Mm. Therein lies the problem with you invaders. <laughs> Never satisfied. Why this urgent visit? You diverted troops from my seat at Orléans to chase after a girl. Not just a girl, the Maid of Lorraine. Don't embarrass yourself, Philip. The Maid of Lorraine is a fairy tale, a bedtime story for children and simpletons. This girl has thwarted my siege of Ucouleur. Now she marches on Chinon. She must not get to Charles, whatever it takes. I thought we were superstitious. You French are worse. Never underestimate the power of a myth, my friend. We must find the maid and kill her. Well, now, are you the maid? Is your peasant daughter still a maid? <laughs> Take her away! Leave her! Leave her! Get off the horses! Get off the horses! 
deliver this message to no one but the Dauphin. Poor Louis. He has no anger for Raymond. He's just blindly riding off delivering that preposterous message. He believes in that message, as he does you. I don't know what I'm going to say. You'll know it when you need it. You know, I grew up in Sir Robert's castle. I believe in it was the world. Wishing there was more. Now I know there is, and I'm very grateful for it. They're still leaving. I'm going to take it as it comes. The church has so many clever means of raising revenue. The most endearing is the plenary indulgence, paying to ransom poor grandmama's soul from purgatory. And people are grateful to pay. His Majesty trivializes the power of holy intercession. I'm speaking of the power to collect money. If I need revenue, I must levy taxes and people complain. His Majesty can collect revenue by force. The church can collect only through faith. Ah, but it is you who wield the sharper sword. I can only frighten them with prison. You can frighten them with hell. As his majesty's spiritual advisor, I would caution the king against feeling too competitive with the church. Surely his majesty does not mean to disparage our tax collecting efforts. Considering the endless war, the loss of taxable land, the slaughter of taxable men, and the cost of an army that depletes our resources while lacking the will to fight, I think we do rather well. I cannot stand that woman's laugh. Have her removed. Why don't you shoo away all of these over toadies? Because my body warmth in this room is so drafty. Wait. Sorry, ladies. Thank you. Wait. Not you. From Sir Robert de Baudricourt, with salutations and fealty to His Majesty Charles VII. Well, well. The Vaudricourt has sent us the Maid of Lorraine. Not precisely from Lorraine, but close enough to keep her in the hunt. I've tried the Maid of Lorraine ploy before. I've even recruited a few candidates myself. But it's never worked. You will, of course, not receive the latest candidate. And why not? The church has little tolerance for self-proclaimed icons. Yes, but it's de Baudricourt who makes the claim. The girl's position on the matter is quite unknown to you, dear Bishop. Perhaps I will see her. As His Majesty's church-appointed spiritual advisor, I advise His Majesty not to take lightly the advice of his church-appointed spiritual advisor. And as His Majesty's military advisor, I have always opposed the Maid of Lorraine tactic. Toying with people's fantasies is a tricky business. But what if this one's credible? The Bodricorn endorses her, and he's no fool. If she wears the part well, the people might rally. The troops might rally. Even I might rally. We could finally budge from this giant chamber pot and go where we belong. Raz. She did come all this way. Uh, no sense being rude. <laughs> the esteemed Sir Robert de Baudricourt has sent us a girl he claims to be the maid of Lorraine on a mission from God. But our eminent bishop rightly insists upon proof. So, we will put her to the test in front of the entire court. Yes, yes, you, La Tremoille, will be seated on the throne, and I shall be mingling with the assemblage. If she ferrets the true king, she will have proven herself divinely inspired. 
His Majesty's, how shall I put it, boyish demeanor is legend. She'll spot you at once. And then? And then, won't it be fun? <laughs> it should not be so dreary. If nothing else, the crowd will find it miraculous. It will reinforce their faith in God. And what's wrong with that? There may be no harm in seeing the girl. What is your name, child? I am John Dark of Dormy, Your Worship. May I speak to the Dauphin? Hmm. Alone? <laughs> Shall I bid the others go? shut when you leave, eh, Bishop? My Dauphin. I've been sent by God to tell you that you must claim your crown and unite the people of France. And why do you imagine God has chosen you for this holy mission? I don't know. But I do understand why he's been so insistent. The English have begun a siege at Orléans. If the siege falls, you will never get to Reims, and you will never be the king. Do you presume to think that this is news to me? Then why haven't you sent your army to raise the siege? I can't. I haven't the money or the means. Besides, no one believes in France anymore. I'm tired of fighting. You must have faith, my Dauphin, and the people of France will follow. They're hungry for someone to believe in. 
I saw it at Vaucouleur. Do you know they rallied behind me? A farm girl? They will rally behind you. That has not been the case. Why do you claim to be the maid of Lorraine? I'm not the maid of Lorraine, my Dauphin. No. Of course you're not the maid, but people say you are. Why? Because they need someone to believe in. My Dauphin. Why do you call the king Dauphin? That is the title given to the rightful heir of the throne. Clever. It's not easy being king when people neither love you nor fear you, just follow you because you're all they have. God wants you to be king, my Dauphin. I always thought I would be a good king. Lift the siege at Orléans and go and triumph to Reims. Actually, there might be one way. The army they would never follow the Dauphin, but they would follow the maid of Lorraine. But I'm not the maid. You'll have to learn to stop saying that. I don't know how to lead an army. You'll have to learn that, too. You'll be surrounded by knights and commanders. You won't have to do much. Just, just be the maid. God did not send me for this. How do you know? Couldn't this be God's plan? You were sent here to convince me to claim my crown. I'm convinced, but Orléans stands in the way. I can't rally an army to lift the siege, but the maid of Lorraine can. God would not want me to live such a lie. But is it a lie? If God has sent you to lead the French army to victory, then might it stand to reason that you are the maid? Or were you not really sent by God? I was sent by God, my Dauphin, I assure you. I'll need proof. Can you give me a sign? It's been hours. What can they possibly be talking about? She's the one. She's the one we've been waiting for. God has sent her to lead my army. A rather impulsive statement, Your Majesty. She showed me a sign. A sign from God. What sign? I'm sworn to silence. Surely a man as devout as you wouldn't expect me to bring a vow to God. If only we could be certain of her purity. The church is the best arbiter of such things. We can send her to the convent of Poitiers to be examined. Precisely. Poitiers is a perilous journey. Which is why you will accompany her with an armed escort, dear friend. continues. And so does mine. What if she fails? If she fails, she's just a deranged farm girl. What if she succeeds? We observe that she is chaste. A virgin. Our clerics of what the university. The of I do not know A from B. What do your voices tell you? That it is God's will to deliver the people of if France. If it be God's will, then there is no need for soldiers. The soldiers will fight, and God will give them a great victory. We find nothing heretical. In her claims to divine guidance. We find in her only ardent faith. Honesty and Bernan has a right to reject this maid. 
Who are all these people? The men that responded to the king's call for troops. To follow the maid of the rain. Raise your arms, John. Raise them high. was raised my arms and thousands of men shouted out with one single voice. You could have stood on your head and gotten the same result. They were eager to believe. Mother Babette, do you believe I'm the maid of Lorraine? I believe in the girl inside the costume. And I think she should believe in herself and not in legends. Why did you agree to join me? You have the purest heart of any child I've ever known. And I fear what men might do with that. I'm not afraid. Which is why I am. Brother May. You damn nobles are all alike. You never bring me in until it's too late. I ought to double my fee. You'll have a fine chance for riches, considering your arch enemy has taken later on. Sir William Glasdale. Capture him and he'll fetch a great price. If I meet up with Glasdale, I promise you, you can sell him off in pieces. <clears throat> Well, she certainly looks the part, <clears throat> if there is a she under all that. And what part are you, sir? This is Captain Lahir. I've engaged him to lead the mission to Orléans. To lead? Don't worry. You'll be out front for all the cheering. But around here, grown men come in. So if you'll excuse us, my dear, the captain and I have work to do. I'm leaving tomorrow. Leaving? You won't be with us in Orleans? Him? He's a military advisor. He sends other people off to die. <laughs> Shouldn't you be in bed, child? No one must know what's being planned for myself and the men who've come to you fight. You may stay, or you may go. But be quiet. The captain needs to concentrate, my dear. We know the English have taken Le Tourelle. They've practically closed the circle around Orleans, but this news is three days late. It takes about four days to get there. We have 12,000 men, half of them useless. That leaves us with Pardon force. Me? I've made this journey. We can't get there in four days with all the livestock for the troops and the people of Orléans. We only take enough livestock to feed the troops. Our objective is to raise the siege, not to feed the masses. Well, how long will it take? A week to travel, another to prepare, and then how long to win? If we don't feed them, they will die. My dear, you are neither a commander nor a soldier. All you have to do is play the maid and try not to get yourself killed. I'm not pretending, sir. I'm here by the will of God, with the authority of the king and the blessings of the church. And I say that the people of Orléans must be fed. The circle's almost closed. We better hurry. Yes. We need to attack now. The southwest gate is still free. We can get the food inside. Under a hail of arrows from English archers. They won't attack. Look at those campfires. The English have grown lazy. They're not prepared to fight. If we go inside peacefully, there's not even a chance that they can react. 
Then we can make our plans from inside Orléans. I've had enough of this. I don't take orders from women or children. And you're both. Go back home or stay out of my way. You want to command this army without me? Go ahead. There's not a single soldier who will risk his life for you if I'm not by your side. You're my captain, Captain. We do this together. All right. But half the army will stay behind to cover our tracks. Demetz, keep the men ready to charge in case we get in trouble. If we get inside, if we get inside, stay here. Wait for the signal to attack. Sir. Jean won't be going with us. Bloody great lot of them. Get Sir William. Idiot. You just let the maid of Lorraine into Orleans. Prepare for battle! Better open the south gate. Closing ranks. They're getting ready for us. Suppose it's too late to turn back? I shall raise a war cry against you that will be remembered forever. <laughs> if you refuse, I shall raise a war cry against you that will be remembered forever. I shall not write further. And who do you think you're going to send to deliver this? Hmm? Not one of my men. Maybe one of God's angels will take it for you. <laughs> they are, after all, already in heaven. I'll take it. Raymond. they do to that boy. You filled him with righteous nonsense. They won't kill him. He's worth a ransom the French can always be counted on to pay. We should have heard from them by now. We need to attack as quickly as possible. No, we must give the English a chance to leave peacefully. 
leave peacefully. Look at them. With each passing moment, they become more organized, more prepared to fight. We still have an advantage. 5,000 men on the south bank of the Loire. We must strike now. If there's even a chance of winning without shedding blood, then we have to try it, Captain. Listen to me. I was at Agincourt. I've seen the English at their best. Four thousand strong. Glory of France. Our men and horses and heavy armor, our banners held high. We rode to meet the English invaders. But it had rained all night. And the field of battle was muddy. And the mud ensnared our horses and our men. There were only 500 of them, but their armor was lighter. And the methods... Their methods... They slaughtered us like pigs. Even after we had surrendered. should strike hard and fast, Captain. But not the smaller forts. We should win Le Tourel first. It's a fortress. It's designed to keep people out. But the English got in. It's our forts. We built it. Surely we can find some weakness. Find one, and I'll consider it. Is there anyone we can talk to? No. Well, there was Victor, the gatekeeper. He grew up here. He lived in Littorel, but... What? He has the plague. Keep this on. You mustn't take it off. And touch nothing. You hear me? Nothing. In this cloak. Burn it as you're leaving. For God's sakes, child. Be careful. Don't worry, Mother Brother. I'll be all right. Must be a weakness, some way to get in that nobody knows about. It's impenetrable, like a stone chimney. Chimney? Was there ever a fire? No. No, we were very careful. There was, wasn't even straw on the ground. The ramparts, what are they made of? What? Thank you, Victor, from all of your countrymen. Thank you. Dear maid. Yes. Bless me.
Yes. This will protect you. Thank you, Mother Rabbit. Okay. They're bedding the horses down inside Le Tourelle. We need to set fire to the hay. The smoke will force them to lower the drawbridge. And we'll be waiting for them outside. Makes sense. We will take Le Tourelle first. Don't get so excited. Hoping to get a flame over the wall into a bale of hay is uh, like trying to predict where lightning will strike. But it's a good plan. If it works, it's a good plan. But while you're planning it, the rest of us will fight like soldiers. Then promise me that we will wait another day for their response. Explain it to them. There's the answer to your letter. They're sending for reinforcements. We attack now. He's hot headed. He'll lead us to our deaths. He's survived many battles. He must know what he's doing. Has he ever fought a battle for God? Who knows how God chooses his soldiers? Look at us. Hmm? longer do we have to wait till we hear the signal what if the trumpeter's lips are frozen <laughs> then you'll be spared from combat old friend and live to see another day right now dying and going to hell sounds very cozy Ugh. didn't mean that you're afraid Bertrand? i've never seen you afraid it's a long time ago since i trained to be a knight didn't succeed and now i've forgotten what i know ah <laughs> it'll all come back to you the moment you see those ramparts lined with Rows and rows of English archers. Oh, I should have worked harder at becoming a knight. Well, then, you would not have become my squire, and I would not have known true friendship. Don't be sentimental, Jean. You scare me out of my wits. We have to get in the battle position. What about the signal? There, there's your signal. <whistles> Everybody, battle positions. Let's go. Dominus Popisco. In nomine Patris, et Fili, et Spiritus Sancti. Amen. Prayers. I watched brave men pray to live and die in agony. And I watched wounded men pray to die and have to live in agony. I watched my own back. And now, maybe even yours. Come 
flame must strike here. I can do that. As soon as we set fire, we must find Louis or he'll suffocate. Yes, sir. These men are willing to die for you. Perhaps you should say something to them. otherwise.
can't I hear our men fight? Our men have pulled back. Let's oh. take off our armor. Off the trip. You'll bleed to death. Break it off. Jones, one can't. Do it. I down on this. Once we get inside, we have to find Louis. I am the maid. 